Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Fred, the submarine guy here. Uh, I've been uh, working on this for a while. I finally got around to it. Um, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on Instagram here. Uh, I started out about two weeks ago at 700 followers, and you can see I got 747 as of today. And uh, all I've been doing is posting uh, these uh, motivational quotes, okay? So um, you can see I do about one or two per day, and uh, the uh, the other thing I've done is follow some people, <coughs> excuse me, in my niche, and uh, I've invited some of their followers to follow me. Now I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and do that now. Um, you can go in here, obviously, and edit your profile, uh, put in your um, things that you want to get noted for and things like that, your picture. Um, one of the things that uh, the tips I got that's real helpful is to use these little emojis. Uh, these are available. You have, pretty much have to do it on your phone. Uh, and then there, when you're, you're typing in uh, these lines about what you want to be known for here on Instagram, you can insert an emoji either just before, like a, you, for use as a bullet point, or I did them before and after each line, that kind of thing. And then this last line here should direct people to your website address. Now, you can only put one website address in Instagram. There's one place for it. And so your your title or your you know what it's about needs to go here and direct people. It'll automatically highlight it uh, you know when right below all this. So that's how you use that part. Obviously, you can upload your picture and things like that. So the thing on Instagram is is people like to see consistency, and uh, you can get there's a lot of places you can get the private level private label rights or open source uh, pictures of uh, quotes like I did or, you know, health quotes if you're in the health niche or things like that. Um, so those are the kind of things that you want to use here. And one of the things that I've learned is if you have an alternating pattern like this, like blue, gold, blue, gold, blue, gold, it'll give some... Um, uh, it'll make it'll make pe your your site stand out. Uh, I saw one that was black and white background, and you know it was basic black and black on white text, and then white on black text for the next one kind of thing. A uh, lot of different ways to do it, and uh, it doesn't have to be just the background, but that I found that was one of the easiest things to do. So let me show you real quick how to put this background in here. And uh, to do that, I use a site called canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And uh, I don't have the entire screen in the picture here, but if you uh, are on the main page, you will get a, uh, a printout that looks like this or a website that looks like this. And you can choose where you're going to use these graphics, right? And you, there's uh, more. You can come down here. And like social media, I used their graphic for Instagram. Now, if you, you can notice too, the Instagram is 1080 by 1080. The uh, this one for just generic social media is 800 by 800. In other words, it's square, right? Facebook is 940 by 788. It's almost square. So the but the square posts post best in Instagram. So what you do is you go in here and you click you know, the Instagram layout, and they'll give you, let me uh, scroll this over a little bit, they'll give you all these pre-done layouts that you can use. Okay, and uh, let me pause, I got to take care of the dog here. Choose one of these graphics if you like this kind of format, and, you know, do an alternating, you know, maybe gray, pink, or, or something like that. Uh, one of the things that I did, though, is uh, I found it an input. Well, let's see. Let's go back up here. Um, I found one of these that I liked, and then I just kind of stripped everything out of it and uh, show you how to do that here. Uh, it brings you over here into the... Uh, 
working area. Sorry, I'm trying to get this uh, straightened out here. And then you can, what I did is uh, take all these things out. You kind of highlight them, hit delete. I didn't like that. Take, highlight that. You can highlight the background image and delete it. And then this is sort of their default image. So after, behind that, you have a solid color. And what you can do is uh, use, you can change the background color, like from red to green, right? So when I uh, did mine, I do blue and gold because I'm the, a Navy form, uh, uh, format, right, or uh, branding. So I have one that's uh, blue and one that's gold. And let's see if you go over to, uh, how do I get back to my so stuff here? Do, 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 background uploads, <clears throat> search, let's see. Hang on, I'm going to pause here. Okay, uh, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had to uh, uh, take care of the dogs here again. Okay, I'm back over on uh, the, the home page. And you can see I just st uh, started that green one there. Here's the blue one that I've been using. And, hey dogs, come on. Uh, the way I use it is I have, I've uploaded some of my graphics over here. Let me move this over a little bit. You can see. See, there's the graphics that I have that I uploaded. This is my default background image that I can change the color on here. And you can see I've got blue and gold as my previous colors. So I'm going to use blue for this one. And here's, uh, let's see, the next one i got to do here is to drag this one in. Now you can see when I drag this in, it kind of sizes it correctly for the format here. And then I can uh, increase the size a little bit, move it over. You can see the white lines behind it. That kind of tells you when it's centered kind of thing. Now, you don't want to just drag one way. And the reason that, in fact, it won't even let you do it. You need to keep the, the uh, uh, format or the uh, dimensions correct on this. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition for mediocre minds. Okay, Albert Einstein, good quote. So you you uh, get, it, get it like you want it. Looking pretty good there. Then you come up here. Let me move this so you can see everything here. You come up here to uh, the, this is going to be the uh, the uh, file name. And I just note, do mine with uh, sequential numbers and the background, which is blue. So I can say done, and then I download it, and you can download it in PNG uh, or JPEG as a graphic, or you can do PDF if you want to, you know, do that. So I use I use PNG for mine. Those are uploadable in in all social social media. Then you download it, and then you can upload it to your Instagram account or wherever. Right? Of uh, let me go ahead and open this while I got it. There we go. All right, one more thing I want to want to show you about Instagram here. Let's go back over to Instagram. Uh, I'm in a Firefox browser right now, and you can see it looks pretty good here in in Firefox, but you can't uh, work with it. It's Instagram is meant for use on smartphones. However, if you have the Chrome browser, uh, which is uh, free from Google, the Google Chrome browser, if you open up your Instagram account there, then what you can do, let me uh, get out of this. <clears throat> I already had it opened up. Okay. So here's your Instagram account there. Uh, I've got it kind of small there, but there's a better look at it. Um, just like it looked over in, in Firefox. But if you right click on the background and click inspect, what that'll do is it brings up this, this uh, um, section down here. And then what it does is you can um, work with your Instagram account here because it uh, it simulates well, oh I didn't have this inside right up here if you look it simulates a mobile platform 
and I've selected iPhone, but you could select any of the others. They all pretty much look the same. So now it's kind of weird because this cursor turns into a ball, but if you look here, I can, um, let's see, I always have to look. I, um, I can click here to upload a photo, and here's my file. Let's see, uh, I think the last one I did was that one, so let's upload this one. All right, and it says new post, and then you go next. Uh, you write your caption, and I always write something about, you know, uh, this is a great uh, graphic, or I really like this quote, or this is one of my favorite people, you know, or something like that. Uh, let's go back so we can uh, look at that again. Life is like sun, which as we journey toward it, uh, casts a shadow of our burden behind us. Ah, that's kind of cool. Great quotes from great minds. And then I use my hashtags. This is another thing you can do in uh, Instagram is use hashtags. I use email marketing tips. And uh, there we go. And then I use, also use uh, internet market, internet, ew, can't spell, marketing tips. And click right there. And then what I do is I drive people back over to my profile to get my five tips report. Like, don't forget to get my quote five tips dot 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 report in my profile it will help you explode your business right and of course it goes to my lead capture page right so that's all I'm going to say there I'm going to say share and boom now if we go back to Look at the Instagram account and scroll down a little bit. There's the graphic I just posted. If we go back over to, uh, oh hi, um, go back over to uh, Firefox and hit refresh. You can see there's the graphic we just posted. It says zero zero. See, I posted one this morning. It's already got one like. I posted this one last night. It's got ten likes. Uh, this one's got nine. This one's got twelve. 20 on this one, 23, 13, 15. That's all people that have liked my my uh, photos and they saw the chance to go get my five report, five tips report. Uh, I haven't uh, tallied, but I probably have gotten around 20 email opt-ins to my list since I started doing this. And you know, the more more people that see it, the more will will opt in. Anyway, that's all the tips I got for you on Instagram. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this and learned something from it. If you uh, need anything else on Instagram, uh, I've got some good courses on it that uh, I've been taking. I can refer you over to those, and uh, you can start using it to generate more leads for your business. Have a great day. Bye.